Ashley B. and Johnny Novak. The Morning Hot Tub. Hot 105.5. Good morning. 6.04 on your Friday. Ashley B. still on vacation, so it's just me, Johnny Novak. Still got that heat warning in effect today. Looking at a high of 27 with some sunshine. Uh, but with the humidity, going to feel more like 35 in the UV index. 8 or very high. Do not forget your sunscreen because you'll get a burn in like 15 minutes. Right now, as you're waking up, it is 20 degrees already. And this morning's hot brain freeze question for Ripley's Believe It or Not is Chris Antez of San Diego, California can create exquisite miniature sculptures without using his hands. The small animals and fruit sculptures shown at Ripley's Auditorium were all created inside of Chris's mouth in less than 30 seconds. What did Chris sculpt these sculptures with? If you think you know the answer, you can give me a call or text right now at 902-892-2468 or hit us up on Facebook. What is Chris making these sculptures with? Ashley B. and Johnny Novak. Well, that heat warning's still in effect. Some sunshine today, looking at a high of 27, but going to feel more like 35 with the humidity. Mainly cloudy tonight, dropping down to 20. And then tomorrow and Sunday, the weekend looking not too bad. Slight chance of showers and highs in the mid 20s. Right now, it is 20 degrees and coming up in the buzz in four minutes. One of your favorite TV shows from the 90s. All the stars still have a group chat going on. We'll chat about that next. I had a dream. Ashley B. Johnny Novak. Here's the buzz. Do you ever wonder what your favorite 90s TV stars are doing? How about those from Dawson's Creek? Remember Dawson's Creek? I don't want to wait for a loss to be over. Okay, now you remember Dawson's Creek. Well, in a recent interview, uh, Meredith Monroe, who played Andy on the show, revealed that the stars are still all in a group chat and they get along very well. I'm talking about James Vanderbeek, Joshua Jackson, and Katie Holmes all in a group. I wonder what goes on in that group text. I feel like James Vanderbeek, though, is the guy who sends way too many selfies. And can you believe Dawson's Creek is already 20 years old? That's absolutely insane. Uh, SNL's AD Bryant has a brand new project in the works. Uh, Hulu has ordered the comedy series Shrill, which is based on Lindy West's memoir of the same name. And AD Bryant will be starring in it as a character named Annie, who is described as a fat young woman who wants to change her life but not her body. Now, uh, production starts this week in Portland, Oregon. And if you're wondering, will she be leaving Saturday Night Live? That is a big, fat no, because Shrill is also produced by Lorne Michaels, and she even revealed on her Instagram that she is still, still, sorry, sticking around. Hot Tub. Hot 105.5. Ashley be on vacation, so it is just me, Johnny Novak, and another hot day in store for the island. Still got that heat warning in effect. Looking at sunshine and a high of 27 today, but going to feel more like 35 with the humidity. Already feeling like 20, and Apple just did something very, very major this week. Apple became the world's first trillion dollar company not million not billion but trillion dollar company apple's stock is up to a record two hundred and seven dollars and five cents per share and this is such such an inspiring story because 20 years ago Apple was one of the worst companies ever. They were on the verge of bankruptcy. Their shares were selling for less than a dollar a piece, but then they did something absolutely major. I did not realize this, but when Apple was down in the dumps, they actually borrowed $150 million from their rival 
Microsoft. Then they rehired Steve Jobs, and then they just blew up the computer world completely with the iPod, eventually the iPhone and the iPad, and pretty much everything that we use today. Uh, Apple has changed the world. It, it's just crazy. A trillion dollar company. And I don't mean to toot my own horn in this situation, but I got to take responsible for at least half of that trillion. I got the new iPhone and it is absolutely amazing. Wake up. It wakes me up. From the Credit Union storefront studio in downtown Charlottetown, it's the morning hot tub with just Johnny Novak. Ashley B is on vacation and it is going to be another Hot and humid one today. Still got that heat warning in effect. It's probably going to be even hotter than yesterday. Okay, so yesterday I got my hair cut. It was Doyle at Humble Barber. Great guy. Does an amazing job with my hair, but it was just so hot and humid. And you know when they put the, uh, like the, it's almost like a paper towel thing around your neck when you're getting your hair cut? Well, after it was done, he took it off, and it was still stuck to my neck due to the humidity. It was just Ugh, it's going to be another one of those days. Like I said, sunny, 27, going to feel more like 35. Right now, it is 20 with Ed Sheeran. It's perfect on Hot 105.5. Johnny Novak, the morning hot tub. Hot 105.5. Ashley be on vacation this week, so it is just me, Johnny Novak. Still got that heat warning in effect. Sunshine and a high of 27 today. Going to feel more like 35. Right now, the sun already shining very, very bright, and it is 20 degrees on the island. And one of the most difficult things to do in 2018 by far is is dating because there are so many rules. There are so many different new terms that are popping up every single day. You just can't keep up. And another thing that people don't really realize is that there are a lot of red flags when it comes to starting a new relationship. Here are six romantic gestures that are technically red flags. Number one, if someone professes their love Early, early on, like within the first couple of dates, that is a very, very bad sign. If you're on the first date and you were talking about children, you might want to hit the eject button on that one. Uh, if, yeah, another one. Number two is that they overshare on a first date. If you know everything about the person on the first date, what's the point of a second date? And another one, which I didn't really realize, but now it does make sense, is if they DM you non-stop. I mean, sending memes to someone is a very cute and romantic gesture in 2018, uh, but you can overdo it, and it comes across as very, very clingy. So that's the first three. I got the next three coming up in just a few minutes. Want to join the chat? You know what I Tweet us right now. Ashley B. Johnny Novak. The Morning Hot Tub. Hot 105.5. Ashley be on vacation this week, so it is just me, Johnny Novak, and we're talking about six romantic gestures in 2018, which are actually red flags. So the first three were, number one, they profess their love early, early on. Uh, number two, they're the person to overshare on the very first date. And number three is that they DM you way too much. It just comes off as clingy, and no one really wants that. You want, like, a very comfortable relationship because even though a relationship is about two people you need your alone time in there and that's what number four is all about if your significant other or the person you're seeing uh wants to spend all their time with you that is a major red flag so remember a few years ago i was dating this woman and she would get jealous when I wouldn't hang out with her. I remember this one weekend, I just wanted to relax, and my phone was blowing up, and it got to the point where she accused me of cheating on her, and uh, you know what I was doing? I just wanted to relax, and I just wanted to watch Breaking Bad all weekend, and I got yelled at for that. So that are is a sign 
of a toxic relationship. Another one is that they are super protective of you. If there's someone who gets jealous when you're not around them or you're with someone else, that is definitely definitely a major red flag and number six this is a very very important one if they make very big promises early on that's a major red flag like if he says that he's a nigerian prince <sighs> got some bad news for you girl got something to say hit us up right now at 902-892-2468 ashley b and johnny novak